Hey there, my fellow teachers, Rottlemont here. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic, Episode 5, First New Faculty. So next research, I'm going to have you guys pick. Um, I could do classroom essentials to be able to train students better. So what research? Uh, better classrooms? Better classrooms is a double-edged sword because if you have classrooms that train students quickly, uh, they might not get medallions in time. I could also um, go with gardening, allowing us to plant our own gut berries and growing them. Um, or I could go with alchemy, allowing us to brew uh, healing potions to heal people. Uh, so I think those three are probably the best bets for next. Have you vote on the left there? Dismal crystal, just two dismal crystals, okay. So when these guys wake up, the students are going to get a plus five from being in a dorm, and the faculty will get a plus five for being in a bedroom. So their morale bonuses as a result of the um, uh, those structures. And I like how I spelled gardening there. <laughs> gardening, gardening. Yes, gardener, gardening. I type good. So, uh, priority. Lock or Kath, I don't really care who's teaching. How much iron do I have? Not enough iron to make another enchantophone. Got it. So what I want is for floor to hit water two and for Dakota to hit fire two. That would be ideal. So that the, in the combat going to the corrupted lantern, they're not so weak. Because being super weak is going to just make my life a lot harder. So get taught quick. Of course, Cassie's the one that leveled up. Come on, Dakota. Okay, level two fire. There we go. And waiting for Floor to hit level two water. I, I think that's more of a stretch, and I'm okay if she doesn't get it. And you guys want potentially some gardening, so I will do just that. I'll call that pull early. It was a runaway pull. Yeah, she hasn't gotten any water skill at all. Because presumably the other students don't need, yeah, they don't need to level up their water abilities, so they're not even casting water at all. The instructor, you're ignoring one of your, your students there. All right, well, Dakota did level up, so I am going to do my best to go in here and clear it. We're filling our manta, mana and uh, getting down there. It's a Fernling. So Fernlings attack everyone in the front row and heals itself for half of the total damage it's dealt. Um, Fernlings, in my opinion, are best to just nuke to death fast. So I'm not even going to armor myself up. I'm also going to, with um, Dakota, cast Vengeance on the front row. 
Because the friendling attacks everyone in the front row, and Vengeance returns damage to the front row. Uh, but my front row people are, like, close to death, which is not great. So I am going to armor. I'm probably going to lose... Yeah, I'm going to... Um, so Dakota here is going to get knocked out. So they're on death's door. And this is the problem with having, like, low-bee students. Is they do suck damage. And they are out of mana. I'm probably not going to win this. So I'm just going to retreat. Defeat. Alright, uh, shield. Go rescue... How much, uh... Okay, I do have enough wormwood pods, good. Oh great, a thunderstorm, that's going to make my life so much worse. Revive. So, when someone's down, they will die unless you stabilize them through a ritual. So I'm gonna have S.H.I.E.L.D. do that ritual. So sorry students, uh, class is currently canceled. What I'm gonna do for you students is uh, have you do hauling tasks. Yep, cause the, okay. Um, so I'm gonna have you do repair tasks, cause things are gonna get very broken as we're getting hit by lightning. So Locke is at death's door, and I'm stabilizing him, and then I'll stabilize Kathanon. Shield. Oh, I am missing wormweed pods. That's not good. Uh, so harvest as fast as you can. Is there any wormweed pods that are uh, harvest progress? No. So the other thing is wormweed pods are... Um, uh, how many? How uh, how many do I need? Twelve, and then each bed was built with ten. So what I could do is destroy these two beds, which is going to be quicker than harvesting pods, and then do the ritual because it's a, a bit of a time trial here to stabilize him before he dies. Hey, did you run out of mana? For real. Okay. Better to be alive and sleep on the floor than dead. So, ritual. Go for it. So we're probably just going to eat the conviction penalty for the lantern until the students are actually combat capable, because they're not at the moment. They're really not at all. Alright, so both Locke and Kathanon are alive. Now they will have... Um, Locke is suffering a minus 5 conviction from getting knocked out and a minus 15 HP. And Kathanon has the same thing. So penalties, uh, death penalties, if you will. All right, so we need wormweed pods in order to make those beds back. And I'm going to med rest both these guys. Thunderstorms are very aggressive, yes. They're busting everything up badly. But um, the lightning rod uh, research is like way down the research tree. So your first lightning storm, you're almost always going to, it's always going to look like this where it breaks everything and screws you up. There's really no way around that.
I'm gonna move the medical beds, which are getting destroyed, down stairs so they don't take damage. Because the um, the bonus for being in a nurse room, it doesn't work when there's no roof. So there's no point in keeping the medical beds up there getting nuked. I might as well just med rest down here. And then I'll refill the med beds. So that we can heal a bit faster. And in fact... Cassie... Might be able to help with that. Tons of things are getting broken, but, um, class is effectively cancelled for now, so the students will just be uh, told to repair. So the, the thunderstorm is done, uh, so the students won't, aren't able to construct, but they can repair, so I'm gonna have S.H.I.E.L.D. put the roofs back on everything, and then the students can fix up the things that got broken. Can you recruit faculty other than promoting students? Uh, yeah, there are some special cases where you can. But it isn't something you can plan on. There, it, there is special events where you can find faculty. Now, that the roof is back on that place, we can move these med beds back. Uh, what do you need? You are very hungry, so you go eat a rat. You are also very hungry, so go eat a rat. They can't eat at the, um, the dining table because the the floor was broken, and the bed is, uh, the dining table is broken. So now I'm gonna have Kathan on the lock, move the med beds back into the nurse. Or try to. They're really wounded, so they're having trouble. And rest up. Because even if the, um, even if the beds themselves don't have water power, uh, being in a nurse office will heal better. All right, Ernest is now completely done with all of his um, medallion training. So he's a fully uh, trained student that could graduate with honors, but we're going to have him as a uh, as a um, fellow uh, faculty member instead. So priority, yeah, repair. Just keep repairing. I'm just trying to get the lights on so that we don't end up with... Um, with, uh, void shrooms. Oh, Cassie's also a fully trained student. And if we want to graduate them with honors, we need an auditorium. Uh, which requires us to get more luxury and, uh, solemn braziers in there. So that will be kind of like a stretch goal. Got a, a lot of other stuff going on right now, but that will be a stretch goal. Uh, many rooms don't care about windows. They only care about windows if it says so. So infirmaries don't care about windows. Nurse office doesn't care about windows. But bedrooms and dorms do. And all the details is in the uh, the room type sub menu. So, preparing after the storm. And it'll also be good to get the uh, the beds back. So, 
Shield will harvest wormweed so we can remake those beds. Also, having extra wormweed on hand is nice for when we have uh, uh, medical emergencies. So Cathanon's a little bit more than half healed. Locke is uh, a little fall behind, but he'll catch up. Would the light be useful? No. Once you're at 50% light, it's not useful beyond 50%. There is no advantage to having it be even more luminous. Unless you're trying to grow plants. So if I was trying to grow plants, like let's say I put um, plants here, the plants underneath the window would grow, the plants not underneath the window would not. So if you're building a greenhouse, extra windows might be nice. But apart from that, unless the room requires it, there's no advantage. And windows typically don't add luxury, as you can see. Um, it's hard to tell, but yeah, the windows don't add luxury, so there isn't a luxurious benefit from it either. Unless it's a special type of window which adds luxury, which I don't have. You can get stained glass windows later on, which add luxury. But I would have fewer torches to deal with. Uh, windows can break from storms as well. So that doesn't save me any effort either. Windows are just as... They have HP. Just like torches do. So that's not a shortcut. Students are idle because there's really nothing going on right now. It's fine. I don't have anything to... I mean, I have no work for them. We're just trying to put everything back. Once Cathanon's fully healed, I'll put Floor in there. And heal Floor up. Do students get an increase to health or mana when they become a teacher? No. The any benefits are from medallions. So if you don't have the students have medallions, like if, if you don't have medallions unlocked when you're a student, there's no, you know exactly what you're getting when you're a teacher. In other words. All right. So we want to graduate with honors. So I'm going to move the extra rugs that we've got into the auditorium to make the auditorium a more attractive room so that they can benefit from rugs. Also, let's do a repel. Uh, Cathanon is full healed. So Cathanon is shield. And let's go with Ernest. Locke, you are very hungry, so let's feed you. And then have you hop back in bed. Floor, I'm going to have you go med rest. Oh, you're already med resting. So Locke's eating and then is going to medical rest. The malice, uh, I'm not told when it expires, but on the higher level difficulties, it is a while. So I don't know exactly when, but I know it's... I'm not going to rely upon them to do combat for a bit. So in order for the assembly hall to become a... Oh, perfect. Okay. So in order for it to become um, an auditorium, I just need uh, two solemn braziers, which we are close to getting. Locke and Cathanon are now fully healed. They still, of course, have the um, trauma malices, which expire in about a week. And then floor... Actually, floor. Switch uh, beds. The other one's pretty broken. So you refill that, and you repair that.
and this will heal floor up. So in the morning, we will go with double class. Obviously, the students need to get stronger um, so that we can actually fight down here because they were very ill-equipped. What I will also say is that alchemy is way stronger than medical beds. Um, each healing potion can be used in combat. You can bring 10 potions into combat, healing, med potions, and a bunch of other things like throwables and, and, the, and the like. And, um, no, don't bother with that. Oh, no, actually, it's a fresh day. Um, and then you can use them out of combat to heal up as well, and it's faster. It's faster to brew a potion and heal that way than it is to just lay in bed for half a day. Uh, but you guys didn't vote for alchemy, so I didn't do alchemy. So you are nearly starving. Let's get you some food. And I'm going to have all of the teacher on high priority teaching. And we are also getting the necessary requirements for the braziers to make the graduation area better. Which requires more ice flowers. So I have 21. I actually have a lot of ice petals already, but I'm going to want more because ice petals are needed for windows as well. Okay, training time. It'd be ideal if uh, Dakota got up to fire three and Flora got up to water two or three. We'll see. Or if the vivified bane of the vivified goes away, but I can't do anything to make that go away. Oh, we are getting attacked by a totally different thing now. <sighs> okay. We'll be like that. So this is a fog incarnation and it is headed for the scullery. Which is fine. It's a room I use the least. So, not too bad. And it's uh, just shy of a third killed. So I am going to leave that scullery um, haunted so that I can train the students better. Floor doesn't have a source of food, though. That's because I don't have any free gut berries. So, shield. Let's have you go. And I feel bad for her because she's eating, like, raw gut berries, which sucks. But with no, with the scullery in, infested, there's not much I can do about that. So I'm getting some gut berries that aren't stored in the box in there. So that she can eat from the gear. Athenon, let's have you continue with the research. And then Shield can get that wormweed. How's it going? Floor has not made any progress whatsoever. So another thing that I could do is to have Floor have her own schedule. Um, putting her like on a nighttime schedule being tutored by S.H.I.E.L.D. That's maybe not a terrible idea if um, she doesn't start leveling up her water magic. Or him, I don't know the gender. Ernest is fully trained. So Ernest could also be hired as staff now. Um, and yeah, let's do it. I'll do that ritual after the class is over. Because Ernest was the one that was going to become faculty. Uh, so there is a giveaway opportunity here. Raffle timer is up on the top left. And chatting subscribers in the next five minutes is eligible to come Ernest. So here we go. Hire staff. Ernest. Done. So Ernest has all of his medallions done. Um, 
Doesn't have really good combat stats, but is tanky as hell. And there he is. So, Ernest, this is now still your bed. So, Ernest has one more medallion than Locke and Cathanon because I earned it. Um, so, he's got uh, boosted HP, boosted speed, mana HP, and boosted HP and mana. So, he's got a bunch of boosts. And that's one fewer students to um, have to train. So Dakota's almost fully trained student. Uh, and Floor got about a third. So the other thing that I could do with Floor is I could have Floor clean. That's funny. Because um, cleaning is a water task, which will level up water. It's also not necessarily a bad idea to set um, another bedroom up for Ernest, or whatever his name is going to be. So, removing this door here so that this becomes private. And setting it up with a proper bed and proper window. So his medallion to sleep in an uh, austere bedroom was to unlock the medallion, but he doesn't actually prefer it. Oh, a lot of malice crystals. Uh... Really? Just four mouths? Okay. Okay, game. There's no concept of disturbed sleep, so it doesn't really care that, um... That, uh, shield's in there making stuff. But actually, the bonus is incurred when you finish sleeping. So the fact that, um... Yeah, let's make it red, because you're a fire mage. Uh, the fact that um, the room is now a proper bedroom, he'll gain the bedroom um, benefit when he wakes up. Hey, Floor, how do you feel about, like, midnight training? Actually, I don't want all staff to do that. Well, fix that. Custom schedule for... Uh, for shield is that shield does midnight training sessions for a custom schedule for flow or floor rather not flow uh, so now floor and shield shield will essentially tutor tutor floor so that floors uh, has a chance to do more water training because Floor's water training fell very far behind. And there we go. Water just hit two. Okay. That's probably enough. Delete those special schedules. Go back to sleep. She might be a little tired. But, uh... Well, there we go. So, Board Drake. If you want to uh, custom name your person, there's a channel point redemption for it. Character details. Uh, but, here we go. Board Drake. Congrats.
by the way. It's really bored rake. I, I get it, but... Oh, you bored drake. It's too bad the vivified perform worse in battle hasn't gone away. So once they're done recreating, I will uh, battle this out. So, battle incoming. I want my scullery back. And then, of course, we need to do the lantern. There's a lot of combat required. All right. We have, uh... Here we go. This one might be a little bit easier than that one. That one was rough with the, uh... Getting nuked in the front row real fast. But I can always switch who's in the front row. So I got a Lantern Keeper and a Belcher. Got it. Let's kill the Belcher fastest. It's the most dangerous. Please crit, please crit. No, no crit. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Oh man, all right, I'm gonna soak. Down to one HP. Oh, that was a free cast, that's awesome. So here we go. You are going to kill the Belcher. Belcher down. The rest of this fight will be easy. It's a four on one. So I only took uh, like 12 points of damage. It's not bad. Please crit. Please click. Nope. The fireballs have a chance to do double damage. 50% chance. But no luck. Alright, so Scullery is now cleared out. Oh, I, I, I this, this name's fine. We can keep it. Mr. Faculty. I also built another bed here for another potential faculty member. Alright, so we did just get the uh, ritual accessories. Which is necessary in order to get people graduating out of the assembly hall. So I'll get those built. And uh, let's give you some priorities. Uh, I also would like to get... So you guys voted for gardening. So let's go back to gardening. And... Lock, I'm going to have you med rest so that you're ready for the fungal cavern again. So Cassie is a fully trained student. Fully medallioned, fully trained student. So she will have a graduation uh, with honors in a second. Once the uh, solemn pedestal is done. And Dakota is also uh, fully trained, but just not... Um, with honors, because medallions are still unlocked, or still locked, rather. So here we go. This is not an auditorium because I need to increase luxury by 10. Okay. Uh, well, let's do that. These pedestals that I installed here, as you can see, are five luxury piece, so that's pretty easy. Make one here, make one there, and that will be an auditorium. So an auditorium is required to graduate with honors. So I can graduate um, Dakota. I'll have Drake do it. Graduate his own classmate. And then uh, Cassie will go with honors. So let's also, we do have um, Drake as a fire mage. So I want to make two more water wands because I'd like a water and fire. Get my, get my elements on. All right, and I'm going to train for the fight against the lantern and get alchemy. Alchemy is so important on harder difficulties. So I'm going to start the research for alchemy. But we have um, room for another faculty member. But it's not going to be Floor, because Floor isn't a particularly good um, water mage.
And then Cassie is fully trained. So if you look at the schedule here, Cassie is a fully trained student that just does tasks until graduation. Cheers. Okay, it's an auditorium now. So as an auditorium, we can graduate Cassie with honors. And I'll have Locke do the graduation because his um, conviction's the lowest. Actually, I'll have Drake do it. And we're getting 19 adept scrolls from this, opposed to like the seven or eight that we're getting else elsewhere. So we get a lot more adept scrolls by doing a fully trained student. Of course, you can just quickly train students and grind through them at the cost of only a wand, so it's not too expensive to just do that. And then shield, you will summon in the next student. So we're trying to get water students that are um, suited for um, co back line combat. So we got Grisella. Uh, mess hall dining for boosted HP. That's easy to do. I don't have to do any of that. Uh, earth skill cap if I don't get tired. Um, your earth skill is one, so that would get to two. That doesn't really matter. And then boosted power and mana uh, if you destroy objects. So these medallions are pretty easy to do. Um, I just don't... I don't know how useful um, the low power bonus will be. But that that that's a better uh, potential student than Floor is. At least. And doing the last one now. And I'll probably take the best of, of the three that I'm offered. I'm surprised it's only been... Humans, vivified, and wolves. Maybe we'll get a, a new type this time. Like Raven or... Nope, another wolf. Burwer. Um, rested Learning and Dance Machine. I'll probably take Henrik here. Because wolves have a um, natural power and speed bonus, which is really nice. And then this gives more power. And this gives power and speed. And power and speed are really good in combat. So Henrik is probably going to be the best to take, even if I am not able to fulfill his Medallion of Conqueror, which is very unlikely. Bog is advancing. And let's push it back. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow mages. <laughs>